Torrance Airport, A Station, Charlie, 1454 Zulu weather. Wind 280 at 4, visibly 4 miles with mist, ceiling 700 broken. Temperature 19, 2.18, altimeter 299 or 7. Approaching use, ILS, runway 29 or right. Lane departing, runway 29 or. No TAMs, runway 29 left, bass, these are out of service. It's caution from multiple cranes, been seen of Torrance Airport. Check notes for more information. 5G notams that are effective uh, in the vicinity of Torrance Airport. Contact flight service for more information. Torrance Tower Frequency 133.07. Use caution for bird activity on the vicinity of the airport. It's caution for work in progress, chasing all runways and taxiways. Has his weather information for California and Coastal as well on flight service frequencies. All that credit back cold short trucks from a sign with call sign. Flash contact you made is Charlie. Torch Craig, good morning. Station area 1215 Golf East is ready to taxi with Charlie. Station area 1215 Golf. Morning, Torrance Family. Two nine right. Thank you, Julia. Two nine right via Julia one two one five golf. And when we get to the uh, run up one two one five golf, be ready for the uh, IFR clearance if you have it ready. Alright, there. Let me know when you're ready. Alright. And a one two one five goes right to copy. This is uh, one five golf, you fitted to Whiskey Juliet Fox at Airport via fly from May heading intercept the LAX one seven zero radio to limbo and vectors to LAX and then ask files via the STTP Papa three zero route. Time maintain at three thousand. Expect the uh seven thousand one zero minutes answer. Departure frequency is 124.3 and a squawk 4677. All right, uh, 1215 Golf, clear to the WJF uh, Fox Field. The runway heading on departure intercept the LAX 170 radio to Limbo. Limbo. Uh, vectors LAX and as filed via the SoCal Tango Papa 30 tech routing. Uh, climb maintain 3,000, expect 7,100, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.3, squawk 4672, 1215 Golf. And uh, station at 15 Golf, squawk is 4677, seven, seven, and seven. Uh, actually the SoCal is at 134.9er now. Roger that, 34 niner and 4677, seven, uh, 125 Golf. Station at 15 Golf, we've got correct advice, carrier, IFR, have Torrance ground, helicopter 64 Zulu, air taxiway Alpha, requesting antenna site, helicopter 64 Zulu. I got the 64 Zulu, who does it? Antenna site approved, 64 Zulu. Alright, runway heading. 294. And then 1136 is in there, VOR1, we'll go course 170. That thing looks ready for the clearance. There we go. And then we'll go. Yeah, uh, looks like we'll be, we'll be going uh, VFR shortly on the next day. But uh, I'll give you the special uh, VFR clearance. You cleared out the Torrance Delta uh, to the southeast of Torrance Airport. Maintain special VFR out of below 2000 before leaving the Delta or VFR condition. Then as filed. Uh, five tank whiskey was for uh, we're clear of the class delta, 2,000 feet, and maintaining VFR position. Limbo, LAX. Um, yeah, I guess that was close enough. I think it was at uh, or below 2,000 uh, two feet, so yeah. special VFR. Let's hire yeah. now your uh, special VFR. Yeah, so I think Whiskey copies that, yeah, VFR, our special VFR at or below 2,000, yeah. exiting the class delta service area or reaching VFR conditions. Thank you. 518 to Palmdale and then Tarn. destination. 
Parks Ground, Route 813, come through, taxi back, flight test. Route 813, Parks Ground, taxi, uh, Bravo Alpha, the uh, East Boston does a helicopter. Bravo Alpha, and what was that last part for 813? Destination, solid. And we'll climb in 3,000 right now, and runway heading. So I got the route double verification. I have my departure frequency, my altitude, my runway heading, my 170 LAX, and my beacon code of 4677. Good to go. Absolutely solid. All right. Oil temperature is good to go for the run up. There we are. We'll load the system. Electrical system does look good. There we are. All right, 1780, and we're looking at 1650. That's 130. Back to both. 1780, and we're looking at 1690. That's 90. Both check within range. Pedo heat comes off. Electrical system looks good. No enunciations, and we'll go. Actually, before we do power idle, we'll check the prop here. There we are, and I'm looking for manifold pressure, RPM, and oil pressure. That all looks good. Perfect. And here comes idle check. Good to go, back to 1,000. And we'll hang her out. Perfect. I'm set for takeoff. I got fuel selector, both cow flaps open, trims both set for takeoff. Prop forward mixture will go forward here in a moment. Flaps 10 degrees visually verified. My lights are all on. Everything is good to go. I have my root plugged in. We're good to go there. I have tower in one. There we are. And I know they will tell me holding IFR release. So actually, I don't know that. So I'll go ahead and do my briefing now and then call them. All right, we'll be conducting a normal takeoff off of runway 29 right. Any abnormalities necessitating a stop, I'll cut the power stop straight ahead if I'm still on the runway. Anything uh, that necessitates a uh, return back to the airport or a landing after rotation, if I have runway ahead of me to land back on, I'll cut the power stop, land straight ahead and taxi off the runway. Anything uh, where no runway ahead of me to land back on, I'll go ahead and cut the power and land as straight ahead as I possibly can while avoiding obstacles. I will only attempt to turn back yeah, to the airport with you get a request an early right to glide back to the runways if I am 100% certain that I'm high enough to make it. Otherwise, I will find a road or something. It's kind of densely populated here, but uh, we'll try to avoid obstacles best we can. Otherwise, everything looks good. Plane looks good, feels good, sounds good, and uh, we're good to go. So here we go. Torrance Tower, Station Air, 1215 Golf, and the 29 are right to run up, ready for takeoff, high far. Roger, stand my opinion, I release. All right. There we are. Tower 5, take with you like to cross your extended final. Fighting with graduate can maneuver as needed, sir, your special extended final. Extended final. Take it with you, we'll go. I definitely appreciate you letting me know you're going southeast from there. Thank you. Yeah, 5, take it with you. Better safe than sorry. Oh, yeah, I do need to know you're going to cross the runways at that altitude. So, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you, Roger. All right, everything looks good. Could even set up my scoreboard. Heading mode at 89. All that's left to do in the air is just hit the autopilot button. Everything looks good. If you made it, Charlie. Torrance Airport, A estimation, Charlie, 1454 Zulu weather. Wind 280 at four, four miles with mist, ceiling 700 broken. Temperature 192.18, altimeter 299.7. Approach and use, ILS, runway 29 right, lane departing, runway 29er. No TAMs, runway 29 left, Bassies are out of service. Just caution from multiple cranes, been seen. All right. We are good to go. What 
holding IFR release means many times when you call for IFR release, what they're doing is, it's becoming VFR, but it's, uh, it's still VFR. kind of IFR. Thank you very much. A bunch of planes could be launching off of Long Beach or Hawthorne under IFR, and so he's coordinating with SoCal to make sure that if I launch right here, runway heading, I won't be interfering with another plane that just took off, for instance, out of Hawthorne. Because in Hawthorne, nine out of nine times, pretty much, your departure on IFR will be left turn heading 205, which is you take off and then you turn left that way. And Torrance 2 down to right run, um, runway heading intersects that precisely. And if you think of the distance, two planes should be at the same exact altitude right around this time. So waiting IFR release is basically him coordinating with SoCal with approach. And when the approach says, okay, we're good, we don't have any airplanes launching here in the next few minutes from different airports. Summer 1215 Golf Torrance Tower, fly runway heading 1270 at 5, runway 29 right, cleared for takeoff. All right, runway heading 29 right, cleared for takeoff, 1215 Golf. All right, everything is good. Solid. I don't see anyone on final here. If I think it was, did you have a pirate up on the bases or anything uh, for, the, for the cloud there? No, if I think it was you, it was uh, pretty scattered. It's hard to get a read of the bases, right, but I'd say about 1,300 or so. We were clearly above the, the scattered section. Maybe it was 1,500. Take my time with the power. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Tower, helicopter A3, Engines look good. Outside, requesting you go to Norfolk. Takeoff power is set. Airspeed's alive. Whenever she's ready, we'll go fly. And we're off. That easy. Above 75, positive rate of climb. Flaps come up. And here we go. Yeah, well, I will go through some clouds, but not much. Crossing to our left and right, uh, proceed to North Pass, 640. Alright, 5 Tango Whiskey, if you're still on for exchange for a great day. 5 Tango Whiskey, talk to you in a few. Let's fly through some IMC, why not? Good practice. And because I'm not a fan well, of the flight director... Take a departure, great flight, and request the pirate on the bases and tops if you could uh, pass that along. All right, looks like uh, bases are 700 if you can, I'll pass that along too, and departure 1215. All right, all I have is my screen. I'm in IMC right now. Uh, departure, good morning, station air 1215, golf 900, climbing 3000, uh, runway heading, and bases 700, tops 1000. Station air 1215, golf, SoCal approach, I did climb, maintain 5000. Climb, maintain 5000, 1215, golf. And I'm seeing all I have is my screen. Contact to north east, to northeast, north northwest of the Airport. Position check, 155. There we go. All I have is my screen. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north east, to northwest of the Airport. Contact to north there's my rudder trim right there. And we're on our way. Everything looks good. All right, cow flaps open, fuel selector both. Flaps are up, lights are on, that's good. And we're good to go. Station air 15 golf, turn lighting in 040. Right turn 040, 125 golf. There we are. So I know limbo is no longer an option. I also know that the LAX 170 is no longer an option. I am in heading mode, so if I revert back to GPS here, that won't do anything. If I go here, flight plan, highlight direct LAX, that won't do nothing because I'm in heading mode. But I know that the next option in terms of a waypoint to go to would be LAX. So I'm cleaning up my mess that I no longer need. And there we have it, so now radar vectors. In a moment, I believe he'll tell me direct LAX, intercept, not intercept, join Victor 165. But we'll see what that, what, what things look like. And there we are.
Simple as one, two, three. Good old IFR departure. Absolutely fantastic. Everything looks good. And this is IFR. It's like a video game. You're told you do. Station one five golf turn one sitting at three one zero. Three one zero watch one five golf. Three one zero, there it is, plane is turning left. Confirmed. Direct enter enter, cleaning up the mess. All that does is a pink line between me and the LAX VOR. There we are, altitude hold mode, plane's nose is coming down, and we're good to go. There we go, and we'll lean the mixture. All looks good. That simple. He might even have me intercept picture 165 past LAX, in which case I'll go here. I'll highlight that right there. And then if I do activate leg, he'll ask me, do you want to activate LAX to valley? And I'll say yes, and then the plane will intercept it. So I'm staying ahead mentally in terms of what options he may give me because my track vector is showing me that I'm going to hit Victor 165 on the north side of LAX. So I'm just thinking about possibilities so he can't stump me and when he does give me instructions, my fingers know exactly where to go and what to press. That's how you really want to think in IFR. It's just see what's coming, you know. He might even have me fly past it, have me join it on the west side of it. So everything's possible. Station error 15, call up. Join Victor 165 on that heading. Join Victor 165 on our heading, 125 go. There we go, my plan, I'm going to Valley, activate leg, activate, boom. Nothing is happening because I'm on heading mode, but if I press nav, it puts GPS on standby. Once the needle comes in enough, the plane will turn and intercept that on its own. So my fingers knew exactly where to go and what to press, and I accurately anticipated his instruction because it didn't make sense to go to LAX. There's GPS automatically, plane is turning right, and I'm intercepting Victor 165. It's really, really, really simple if you know what your buttons are doing, and you can anticipate what instruction you're going to receive from ATC. And that's all there is to it. Southwest 2753, leaving 1,700 for 3,000.